Hi, my name is Lane from Notable Piano Lessons, and today I'm super excited to share with you a beautiful tutorial, piano tutorial on Canon and D. And um, I have played this song for years off and on, pretty like advanced piece, and I have not enjoyed it just because some of the parts are so tricky and it really didn't sound that good. So I created this arrangement with the goal in mind of making it easy to play, but still have an advanced sound. Also in this video, I'm gonna show you later on a hack that will make this song even easier for our beginners to learn, but you can still achieve that mature sound. So stay tuned for that. Uh, to start out with, I will play the beginning first section of this song so you can get, kind of get a feel of what it will sound like. And I'll kind of divide this tutorial up into two parts. So let's just listen to it first. So you can kind of hear what it sounds like. Um, this song is written in the key of D major and it does have two sharps, but don't let that scare you because um, it's just two black keys. So you're gonna have to remember that um, all Fs, so you can, instead of playing F here, you'll play F sharp. Instead of playing C, you'll play C sharp. So I'm just gonna run through the D major scale really quick. So it's D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D. Okay, so um, we're gonna go through just the right hand to start with, and I'm gonna start with finger three on F sharp. We're just gonna hold our notes for two counts. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two. it just repeats. So we start on that F sharp again on measure five. F two, so it's F sharp two, E two, D two, C two, B two, A two, B two, C two. And then we move our hand up to D. So we put our pinky on D. And we're gonna do eighth notes now. So we're just gonna count one and two and three and four and. So it's just one and two, and then you reach all the way down to D. Don't let that scare you, just let your hand follow. Cross over to C sharp, and then back to finger five on A. Finger two on E, F sharp, D, D, C sharp, B, C sharp, F sharp, a, B, G, F sharp, E, G, F sharp, E, D, C sharp, B, cross over finger four, A, G, F sharp, E, now switch to finger four on G, F sharp, E. You're going to notice that this song, that the um, fingering is probably one of the most challenging parts of it. But just take it slow and you'll get it. Let's start on measure 13. 
and then we go our thumb to E, A, G, F sharp, B, A, G, cross over to D, then bring your thumb down to B, and you're going to want to move your hand up to B up here, C sharp, Extend all the way up to this F sharp here. It's like an octave apart. So it's F sharp to F sharp. Rest. Okay, and then we go up to A, way up here. And don't let these 16th notes scare you. Just follow the rhythm that you've heard before if you're a beginner. We're not going to really count those right now. Just. And then come down to A. Tuck under to D. And move down to F sharp. Then third finger goes to F sharp. It changes your hand. You just let your hand fall into place. Tuck under to G. Thumb goes to A. Tuck under to D. Okay, that's the first part with the right hand. Obviously, with the tutorial, it, that did not sound even, but you kind of heard it at the beginning. Okay, so now we're going to do the left hand. And this is based on some different chords. So we're going to play the D and the A, the outer shell of the D chord, which are like our pop chords. And then we move down to A and E, B and F sharp. Hold each of these for two. F and C sharp. This is based on the F sharp minor. And I'll put the chords in here. And then G and D, D and A. That's part of the D chord again. G and D is part of the G chord, and then A and E is part of the A minor. So um, let's just go over that one more time. So it's D chord, A minor, B minor, F sharp minor, G, D, G, A. And you don't have to know these chords. Um, you can learn them later. Um, but if you do learn, it's just the outer shell. We're not playing that middle note. And I'm going to have um, something that will help you learn this even faster. I'll show you later. So uh, don't worry about the note reading so much. On measure five, we're going to do the left hand. We have some broken chords. We're doing the whole D chord. That The same chords that we just did, but we're doing broken now. We're including that middle note. So we're going D, F sharp, A. A, C sharp, E, B, D, F sharp, F sharp, A, C sharp, G, B, D, D, F sharp, A, G, B, D, A, C sharp, E. Okay, I'm just going to count that, um, just that line again. So it's one and two. And three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Okay, now we're going to the same chords that we did on line one. We're just um, it's the same thing. So it's just one. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two, or counting consecutively. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And it just repeats all through measure 13. Um, the fourth line of the song, it repeats. The fifth line of the song, it repeats. Uh, it keeps repeating until you get to measure 25. So that's 
the same thing. We don't have to go over that. It's exactly the same thing. Okay, and so just when you put it hands together, you just do it slowly. Starting on measure one, it's just, just go super slow. One, two. start in same thing the one and two and three and four and counting on measure nine is just one and two We're just going to play it by ear, the right hand, the melody, it's just Okay, so that's the part one of um, this song. And I just want to talk about that hack that I was telling you that's going to make it easier for beginners. If it's just too much to move your hands all over in the left hand, what I would like you to try and do and see if you can do this, um, it's going to be a lot easier, is just starting on measure one. You're just going to play, like if it says D, you're just going to play a D. Doesn't Like if your hand's just in this G position right here. And you're just gonna play the lower note of that pop chord. So we're gonna start at one, like this. And then you play the A, and you play the B in the left hand. See, so your hand doesn't have to move. Right down here, you need to stretch your t pinky down to F sharp, and come back to the G. And then on that D, you can just play the D up here where your thumb is. That's gonna make it easy, so you don't have to move your hand. And you can pretty much do that through the whole, so on like whole piece, you can just keep your hand in that left hand position and play the notes that sound good with the right hand. You can even just hold one note. If you don't want to play two notes per measure in the left hand, just play the first note and hold it while the right hand plays. So on measure five, let's just see how that sounds. It's going to be the same thing. So let's go to measure um, nine where we're moving the right hand more, and the left hand's just gonna play the bottom notes. idea you can just keep doing that throughout the whole song just keeping your left hand in that position to make it easier for beginners so this piece is really an intermediate late intermediate piece but you can play it um, as a beginner just by 
keeping your left hand like this and not having to worry about moving all around. Um, okay, so that finishes the first part of our tutorial. And remember that if you want to get this music to check out the links below. <laughs>